Joining us now is Tom Sosnoff. He's founder and co-CEO of Tasty Trade. Tom, uh, it's great to see you. Uh, we saw one of these uh, eruptions back in January and February, going back to last year, was the huge Robin Hood stampede. Uh, people really, uh, you know, getting into this game of very active trading, finding these very volatile stocks and options uh, to, to use in this way. Do you think it's just a phase? Uh, what, what's your, your top level thought on what this means for the market? Well, thanks, Mike. Thanks for having me on today. And it's great. Um, do I think it's a phase? No, no. I think it's 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 way bigger than a phase. I think it's a you're you're watching something or you're witnessing history, which is a transformational. It's almost like a, a transfer of one generation to the next or it's the opening up of the markets to a new generation. So, no, I don't think it's a phase. I think what we're witnessing right now is something that's actually really important and really cool to see. Is this the best way for a new generation to be engaging with the markets? Now, uh, obviously, the, there's a lot of power in, in this sort of social viral mode of, of, of searching for names and trying to yep. outsmart uh, the professionals. However, it also seems to come with paying tremendous premiums for out-of-the-money options that are going to expire in a couple of days and just a lot of, of friction uh, and, and really just a lot of, uh, of room to, to kind of win or lose. So do you think that that's uh, kind of your best entry point? You know, I don't know if there is, like, like, it's a great question because I don't know, Mike, if there is a best entry point. You're talking about something that's never been done before. Remember, we're, you can go back and look at this business. I, I, this is my 40th year. And I go back and look at this business. We've been trying to introduce a younger generation, a new generation to the world of finance and investing, you know, forever. And until Robinhood came along and until meme stops came, came along and everything like that, it's nobody's been able to do it. So is it perfect? No, I don't like it. I don't think it's the perfect way. But is it are the benefits of what's happening right now um, going to outweigh any of the downside? I think 100 times over. So the answer is, in, in an imperfect way, it's a, it's a wonderful happening, if that makes sense. Tom, I know you've been in the business for a long time, and you're not a psychologist per se, but to kind oh. of follow up on Mike's point, this is a very different way of entering the stock market than when I did it yeah. in eighth grade with my babysitting money, and I put $800 into a mutual fund that uh -huh. felt safe, it felt like it was long-term growth. I mean, are these individuals just much, much riskier than I was? I mean, why would they be going after options with these premiums and these expiration dates as opposed to putting it in there and just letting it simmer and grow for some time? Is this just sort of a fast turn, fast cash generation? It, the world's changed. We call it kind of a the, the outlook on what we call the rate of change or gamma has completely changed with respect to everything. Who would have thought, you know, after a pan, who would have thought if we entered into a pandemic that big businesses could change as quickly as they had, as they were able to? I think when you look at the makeup of the investor, what we're seeing here is the investor is a lot more nimble and a lot more capable of change than we ever thought. So what's what you're I, and, and again, what you're seeing here now, too, is a generation that doesn't have the same kind of wealth that a normal generation or an older generation would, would have when they're getting into investing. So what they're looking for is an opportunity to invest in something. And this is one of the reasons why digital assets took off. And it's one of the reasons why meme stocks took off. They're looking for something with extremely high volatility, which means it has a, an extremely high expected move. And in the end, what that turns into is something where they can say, hey, you know what? I can take a little bit of money and turn it into a lot of money. Now, is that the perfect solution? to long-term successful investing? No, but it is it a short-term solution to engage an entire generation in the world of finance before they, when they're in their 20s and 30s, before they, in their 50s and 60s? And the answer is yes. That's why I think the benefits are so wonderful compared to the risks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.